Greetings and welcome back to Against the Storm. I'm Catherine of Sky and the last time I logged into this um, I was just checking on the game and there was an update and so it kind of deleted our town in progress. So what I did is instead of uh, yeah instead of doing uh, the new town with you I decided to just create a new town and it does now export 10 raincoats a minute and 10 mushrooms a minute. So now we, during this update, we actually got icons now on some of these special tiles in the world. So I'm really looking forward to getting some of those. And we have one city space that will give us both of these rewards. As you can see, we have um, upgraded rewards in that little menu on the side there, uh, which is really nice. Cause like if we go here, we only have 16, this one gives us one of those artifacts, but this gives us an extra piece of bread. You can see two pieces of bread in that little uh, hexagon. So we're going to go here because I'm really excited that we haven't done one of these yet. And it's great. It's going to give us 60, 60 experience, Woodland Town, machinery and a food stockpile. Now we actually have 100% phase progress because uh, this, I believe, is, uh, yeah, works with getting... Um, different goals and we apparently have gotten enough to progress to the next phase but i am not going to restart the phase i really want to get at least one of these possibly both um there's another one over here which we can't reach yet there's more bread over there um yeah so i definitely want to go for these right now and just add those to our collective so here we go we're going to start here and we're going to excitedly get that machinery which is one of the currencies to buy the upgrades in our main city so again 12 victory points needed um and what do we have here ruined settlement okay uh oh that's cool a lot of ruined buildings can be found nearby those are really cool because you can repair those and they can become a functioning part of your city without needing a card to build them fertile grounds uh and then gift of the woodlands that's nice harvesting speed is increased we have plant fiber yay we have some clay, less resin, and less leather. That's not too bad of a problem. So let's see. We only get two points, really. That's kind of naughty. Look at this. You can't even pick a human. Um, all right. I guess we're going to take food because food is always good to take for our people. I guess we can get roots. Why not? Uh, so let's name our settlement. I don't know. Call it Artifactin. Artifactin. <laughs> why not why not so we shall embark yes we're ready to start oh there are what hello oh that's right i get two points i forgot these are two points okay all right let's get some eggs wood is so easy to get at the very beginning i feel like it's not necessary to get extra wood because the woodcutters will do things extra fast all right what do we got here wow there seems to be ideal conditions for creating amber. Gave five, gain five amber each drizzle multiplied by the amount of years. Hello? Wow, that's impressive. So this is just going to happen over time, and that's going to give us a lot more benefit to getting like extra stuff from the trader. We also have euphoric vapors. All right, complex food times two. The units are motivated. We need to work on that. So now we have four negative modifiers here. We've got the looming darkness. We have creeping shadows, discovering a glade during a storm. That's not good. Okay, strange lights. Eugh. Okay, we need a service in order for them to not have a 10% chance to destroy the yield in each production cycle. That's hostility three and onward. This one's hostility one and onward, by the way. So eerie song. Um, Oh God, this is hard. Oh my gosh, unit has a 40% chance to die every 45 seconds. Oh, we need to find services fast. <laughs> oh my God, this is this is really difficult. Okay, well, you know what? We wanted a challenge, so here we go. Here we go indeed. All right, we have a dangerous glade nearby. Wow, this is a nice big glade here. I think I wanna work on this one first. So let's get our woodcutters made. Let's get one woodcutter's camp here. Um, and I think maybe, maybe here, maybe here. Let's just go there. Let's do this here. Okay, fine. And we'll assess that shortly. We do have a stone cutting camp. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and do these on priority one. 
Alrighty, one, and then this one will be two because we want to do a stone cutter's camp. We get some clay from this, which is really nice. Let's go there, and that'll be the next one done. Okay. Right. What do we get at first choice here? Small farm or a ooh, an herb garden. That's a really nice choice. So we'll leave it for now, though. But what I do want to do is start. I want to set up some roads. Roads. Okay, I wanted to set up a one, two, three path. No. One, two, three from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that is going to be for larger buildings uh, to be production areas here. Now then we can also do... What else do we want to do? We want to do a crude workstation first. Now, a good point that many people have made is that the crude workstation has very bad uh, production values for these different items. When we get to the point where we can see, you see there's a star there by the uh, spark dew, one star. So that is a very inefficient way of producing spark dew, apparently. We haven't found anything else that will make it yet. But the higher the star level, the better they are at producing things in terms of the amount of materials consumed and or the time it takes to consume them. It just depends on the product. Okay, I think let's go ahead and add also a trading post. You know what, maybe we want to add the trading post down here as well. Let's just put that here for now. We don't have a lot of space at the moment, so let's see. I'll readjust the priorities here shortly. Um, what was it where we're going to build there? Oh yes, we were going to build the, uh, the, uh, or, 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 where are you? There you are, crude workstation. Yeah, very important to build this thing. Uh, and I think I'll put it maybe just here. Maybe just there, maybe. And then we'll delete that tree there, possibly. Yeah. Okay, we will do that. Let's do something like, okay, this is at zero. This one needs to be at minus one and maybe this at minus one as well. And we'll go ahead and set up stuff while they're making things, I think. Because I think this is about the limit we have here. I do want to get rid of this tree to put a, um, a road there. But we'll have to set up that in a bit. Let's go ahead and set up limits for all of these items. Initially, I think we're just going to want planks. So we're going to put a limit of, I don't know, 30 on planks. And then fabric. We'll do 20. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Whoops. There we go. 20 on all those. All right. And that should get us some stuff going on. All right. Let's go ahead and pause. Add beavers to this woodcutter's post. And one very important thing we really need to do right at the beginning is create some houses. So I want those to be probably the new priority one. Okay, let's put that one there. And... Eh. All right, let's go ahead and put these up to priority one. This will go up to priority two. Okay. Okay, and so, okay, these people need people, so we'll put in, I'll just put in two humans and a lizard, and then the other lizards can work on building these other posts. Okay, and then also we need to mark trees for cutting. That's super important. Let's see, we want to get, we want to get uh, these areas opened up, and it's good to have like three tiles in, and the reason for that is so you can have a uh, a road and then buildings on the side so we're gonna do that um but it's also nice to have <laughs> to have some way to get in here as well so let's just get these guys working there we go and otherwise uh it's just easy to do one tile entrances in a lot of these places so let's see on here I want to get rid of this tree so that we can put a house there and also get rid of, oh, you know what? Let's just do the one tree first. Do one tree first uh, because I want to make that house pronto. So, oh, whoops, they're going that way instead. No! Wait, did it, no, it didn't die? Hello? Hello? Hello, tree? Are you dead? No, you're not dead. Oh, they did. They deadified that tree. Whoops. Okay, never mind. 
I am not paying attention apparently. Okay, let's get, um, I also want to get in, let's do a, let's do the three road here as well. So we'll delete this section there. Okay, it's kind of, I really, really wish for grid-based tree cutting. That is one of my most fervent wishes. Super important. Okay, but we do want to get our morale up for our people as soon as possible, or global resolve, as it's known, of course. Let's see, path. We can get the path moving this way. Probably it's going to be going here. And then... Yes, right there. <laughs> right where we don't have the ability to place it. Mm-hmm. There we go. But it's okay. We're going to get it eventually. And we also can get that tree downed as well. Getting a lot of wood here and uh, also a lot of uh, access to our areas. But first, let's go ahead and choose some cards. These are our first cards here. We can figure out things. Oh, cut through and discover three glades. Hmm. Okay, uh, ooh, workers assigned to glade events will carry five more items a time. That's very, very, yeah, not used very much, but it's, it's, it's okay. Let's see, an ancient tablet. Uh, I don't want to go into those scary things, so we're probably not going to get this for a very long time, if ever, so I'm just going to pick this one. That's quite an easy event to do. All right, we need six humans working for us, and we get a small farm. Um, that means that right now we have a card for the small farm and we can get the herb garden instead. So if we have an herbalist and 20 berries, we get these items. So gain two dew for every 10 berries produced. Um, we haven't found a use for crystallized dew yet. Um, and also the trader doesn't take it. So yeah, not going to happen. So let's just choose this one. That means we can get the herb farm first. Uh, all right, so what else do we have here? I don't think we actually need amber generating ones because we have so much amber from that one thing. It's like crazy amounts, crazy, crazy amounts. All right, if we have 35 wood, we get two beavers and three bolts. That's actually really good. Let's see, pack of crops. Um, I don't think we want to do packs of crops because food has always been kind of precarious. So I'm going to pick this one instead. All right, we are actually in really good land. So... What I think is, let's go here and choose this. So we get five plant fiber every minute. Uh, let's see. Traders arrive quicker and packs of trade goods are sold for 25% more. Eh, I don't want to really do that. So let's just get the plant fiber. I like to have these things that happen in the background that don't require any, any work from us. They seem to be, you know, like set and forget kind of thing. So let's choose the herb garden there. Now we have, oh, here's our herbalist camp. Hooray. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's fine. No worries. No worries. But anyway, we're going to get these uh, glades finished. We're going to also hopefully get some of these buildings done. Our workers are working on them. We only have two builders working. So I don't want to give away all of our wood until we have at least the houses done. Go ahead and get the other house made. There we go. Put that up. Oh, ah, yes. And we're not going to open this one up yet either. Okay. So this is what? Small abandoned cache. All right. Hmm. We can get some nice goods here. We got herbs and eggs, which is good for food. Oh, we, can, we don't have any tools. So yeah, never mind. We Actually, we might have gotten or we might get some tools from one of these, but I don't know if that's actually worth it. I don't really like the options that we had there. So, all right, this one has also opened up. Oh, beautiful. We have small encampment, which gives us two citizens, which is kind of a good thing. Uh, or we can get a half a victory point and amber. I think we might actually take the people. Let's take the people so that we get more, um, more people to help us work. And that's, oh, we also discovered a farm. This is beautiful. We like farms. Hooray. All right. So I'm going to move this woodcutter out here. Move you there. Hooray. Okay. And then, all right, we can now deliver these. Let's go ahead and just do that. We have tons of wood anyway. So that gives us another card. Let's see. I guess, hmm. 
Let's get some... What do we have? Do we have anything? We have mushrooms. So those are quite useful, I think. Maybe. Sort of. Well, we have them rather than not having anything. So that's one positive thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, whereas we don't see any insects yet. Or, or meat. So let's pick these. Then we have forage. Oh, wow. Lovely. Meat and eggs. These are vegetables and grain. I think we're going to take this one. Bakery or smokehouse? Yeah, that's a hard one because we don't have much on either right now. I think I'm going to leave it. Let's just leave it until we maybe need another choice or something. We need to remember that we have to get those darn services done because that's going to be pretty dismal if we don't. Looks like we have two beavers, so I want to put them in this woodcutter's hut instead of these workers. So there you go. Getting those done. Hooray. All right. Very good. Okay. Houses are done as well. Want to put another one probably right here. Yes, right there is good, because then we can put the road on this side. And the reason I do that is because there is some... This stuff sticking out a bit. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Hello? Okay. There we go. All right. So there we go. And that also gives us the ability to make a mushroom gathering camp, which is the herbalists, of course. Um, hmm. Oh, you know, could put it there and it will cover both camps. That's cool. Or both areas. That's nice. That is easy peasy. Very nice. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Oh, we got another glade open. We got the exploration. Here we have our meat. That's nice. Oh, and we also get 100% leather. That's really good. Okay, so herbalist camp is also needed up here for later. But here we go. Meat and insects. Let's go. Can I put it there? Yeah, we can. I think I'm going to put this here. And they can walk over there and then walk back to camp to go and get stuff done. All right, so where are we going from here? Let's see. This uh, woodcutter is busy woodcutting into this area. Do we want to go... not there. Okay, let's move this one here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, there's some... Oh, this is actually really nice. Look, we got some nice um, uh, fertile land here for farming. That's pretty cool. So I'll let them cut this area, I think. I think I'm going to move this one to this side. I don't... I'm hoping they can walk around to get to this hut here, the trapper's camp. Uh, if they don't build it shortly, we'll know. That's for sure. All right. So this is done. All right. Let's have a human working here and another human. Because they love to, to go and get all the things, apparently. It's pretty cool. This is nice to have a farm so close. Might even be worth putting a storage uh, section down here because there is so much to get. We've got this flax here as well. Uh, oh, and that gives us both clay and insects. That's a really nice thing. Okay, yeah, we definitely are not breaking into this. We're just trying to get these fields happening. Let's see, lizard uh, can work here. Yay, lizard. All right. Lizard grabbing all the meat. Good, good. Okay, very cool. All right, so what else do we have happening? We can actually switch out this person for a beaver. Let's go ahead and get this re reward for this. And we get five tools and some and something else. Okay, what do we want here? I think we're gonna get the smokehouse. Now that we have meat, I do want to produce that jerky. All right, and then we have a brewery and a clothier. Hmm. I'm gonna wait for the next uh, tasks. We have three minutes until those show up. Okay, let's go, let's go. Everything, okay, this is not working yet. We need to have people working here. Uh, oh, beavers, beavers work here really well. Okay. All right, now we have the sad times. 
the very, very sad times. Okay, and we need another house. So I'm going to start making houses uh, possibly down this way. Let's see, house. I'm kind of trying to put them far enough from uh, here. So, so basically having the production clo buildings close to our, our main, uh, main center of, of the town. Our center of operations. The main base. Yes. <laughs> All of those things. Okay, we're not quite angering the gods here. The, the forest. So we can break through without any penalty. Um, and in the meantime, it does look like we need to break through over here. So let's move this uh, woodcutter's hut over down this away. And I want to start just getting... I'm going to go ahead and just do single single tree operations I think. Oh, not there. I think we want to go here. It's weird when you're cutting like diagonally. I'm not quite sure if I understand that or not. So let's see. Let's go there is okay. Okay. I just want to have a one wide tile of trees. Does that work? I'm not sure if it actually works. Let's just go a little bit further to the left. Make this work instead. Yes, that's better. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. Oy, oy, is what we have here. Go this away. I don't know how this works. You know what? Let's just let that work that way. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's take this path down here as well. And we can start. Uh, maybe we can put in a farm here because it looks like we have all of the farm tiles exposed. So let's just go ahead and plant the farm fields. Oh, wow, that's a ton of fields. Crazy amounts. And then we're going to get an herb garden here because I feel like it's important to have permanent uh, farm stuff happening. So let's see, one, two, and there is a good spot to put this. And maybe, maybe we put in a storage house here. These cost, oh, they cost bolts. Oh, we need to be careful about those. Okay, so I also want to put in somebody here. Let's put in a lizard over here. Oh, and we have no anything. Nice. Okay, this opened up. That's nice. We have broccoli patch and uh, mushrooms. Cool. It's very good. Very good. All right, so now we need some builders. And I have heard also that builders are the people that transport goods to and fro. So let's see. Do we want to... Maybe we take... Oh. Um, hmm. Wow, wait, what happened to this beaver? Hello? Did a beaver die? No. I don't see any notifications. I wonder what happened to this beaver. <laughs> I thought all the woodcutters camps were fully stocked with people. No. Okay, let's figure out. If we press alt, we can also see what buildings have who in them. Um, I'm looking for maybe herbalist camp. Uh, take one person out of there so that they are a builder. Yeah, let's make her a builder. Well, I guess all the humans are hers. Though she might not be her. It might be a him. You never can tell. We don't judge. You know, hairstyles, we do not judge. Mm -mm. Okay, we now have 15 hamper. <laughs> That's nice. Um, and then we have a lot of other stuff as well. So let's look at the perks that we can buy. So raincoat production is higher. We can get... Uh, let's see. Gain 20 pottery for each glade. That's impressive. Furniture. Additional one to resolve for villagers with a home. That sounds absolutely amazing. Let's see what we have for new tasks. We have 43 seconds. Let's see if she's going to last 43 seconds. She may not, actually. I don't know. Kind of want to find out before I do any other options, but it's okay because we have, we have tons of stuff to do. They can, they can do many things. Hello? Please? 19 seconds? I think it's actually a minute, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna pause there. Yep, five seconds. Okay, so we have to choose this before we do anything else. I'm gonna pick the furniture perk because it's so valuable. Uh, all right, so let's do whatever else we need to do. Let's wait five seconds and then we will go and get the other pling. There's the pling. Hooray. Okay, so here, this this doesn't make any sense to me. We get a sticky alert when she leaves, but not when she comes. It's like, huh? 
Um, you, as a couple of people have mentioned, you can't see the icons on the edges of the screen, but if you're just like focused in the middle, you never see it. So anyway, let's go pick a couple of cards here. We have, uh, we need, let's see, pack of building materials and coal. Mine, brick oven, and kiln. I don't think we have any of those. Hmm. Okay, and then we have clothing. Hey, let's pick that because we have a clothing perk or a clothing card that we can choose. Okay, the next thing is rewards. Uh, keep Beaver's Resolve above 65 for 30 seconds. I think that's easy to do. This is a little bit more hairy, so I think we're gonna choose this. And then we get coat production as well. That's very tasty. Oh my God, we're gonna be building coats forever. Uh, maybe we can sell them. We have to see if she will take the, uh, the, the coats. All right, let's go ahead and build a raincoat factory, otherwise known as a clothier. Do we have materials to make these things? I don't know. Let's see, oh yeah, we have tons of plant fiber. That's right, we have this thing to give us. Five every minute, hooray. So, <laughs> Hooray, let's go. Let's go. It's a thing. So let's put this one can be like here. Sure. And then I'll take path going this way. We might move this thing, actually. Might move this here. So it can be on the path there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Happiness. Good, good. All right. So now we're still working on getting this farm up and underway. Okay, so we're still looking at beaver result. Okay, and clothing. Oh yeah, we need to get some more stuff. Okay, so what do we got here? Rain is getting heavier. Resolve is no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Wood production is increased by one, but harvesting are slower. Way easier. Let's just pick that. Okay. Now then, what do we have here? We need probably this one. I think that lizards, I find that are they have the least uses, as far as I have seen. Um, they might be more useful in other things, but I, I haven't seen that many instances here that they are like the best choice. Uh, like even here, like the second thing I think is lizard. Here, if we take it off, yeah, they need a lizard, but the lizard gets zero bonus for that. Like nothing, they don't get the mood buff, they don't get extra production or anything. So I find that very strange, actually. Okay, so these are all beavers working happily. Let's get more beavers to work happily over here. Okay, and then we have broccoli production over there, which is nice. But yeah, definitely want to get these raincoats going on. We need another house, it looks like. So let's just put one here. And this is what is so handy about having these three wide uh, breakthroughs into the glades. It's just, yep, just build another house right over there. Pretty handy. Okay, is there anything that we don't have yet? Oh, smokehouse. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so here's one of these three wide buildings. I'm going to put that up there. I wanted to put that. Uh, so we start making some jerky because I think... Okay, so lizards like jerky and I think humans do as well. Yeah, so it's going to give them both a massive mood boost if we can get that jerky working. Get the jerky jerking. Mm-hmm. Wait, a jerkin is a different thing. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we are going here. All right, we need humans to work this area as well. They get a double, double bonus for that. So that's going to be a good thing for them. And meanwhile, back in the forest. I was going to say back at the ranch, but yeah. Okay, so this area gives us what? Small abandoned cache, fertile soil. So farm and then broccoli patch. So what is this about? Oh, well then, we get a bunch of stuff here. We can get a half a victory point, which is also very valuable. Having the bolts, though, is kind of good. How many do we have? We have... Hello, hello. We have four, which is not a lot. Definitely not a lot. Are we getting any from these things? We're getting five here uh, if we provide clothing. So we need to provide the clothing, and then that's going to be easy peasy. We also get the jerky here, which is very nice. We get a half a point, and then amber. Maybe we can we can buy a lot of stuff for 10 amber, you know? So let's go here, and we'll just investigate there. Do, wait, do we want this, really? I feel like those tools are so... Oh, never mind. We don't have six. We have only five. So that's not going to work. Okay. It's fine, though. It's fine. 
This is a bit of a mess in here. So let's just delete that cutting order. All right, we are now up to hostility level one. So we want to make sure and not break through whenever we have a, uh, a big storm. I love that the amber keeps climbing. <laughs> it's nuts. So this is clearance. I guess drizzle is the next stage. Uh, okay. Things are working. Things are going well. What do we need here? We need cloth. Oh, geez. You know what I forgot? Ah, I forgot to turn this back on. I kept focusing on just planks, but they need to make everything now because initially, the, I think the first couple of building needs needs planks. Or need plank. Wait. First building needs planks. Yes, that's correct. Uh, and then after it's a little bit more sort of forgiving. So where do we want to put the woodcutter next? Let's figure it out. Let's move him... Move the woodcutter here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go up through here. And I think we'll do the three wide through here. And we can always move this road as well. Move it to the side, perhaps. Like that. And delete that road there. That way they have something to do. Uh, this. Uh, oh, yes. We have a thing down here. Eight broccoli. Do we have any? We have s not enough. But we can always get some more. Okay, let's send a lizard to do that, please. You investigate that fun stuff. All right, we'll, we'll actually cancel this one so we're not, like, waiting on it. Now then, this woodcutter... I think we need to go... We need to move this out here. So we can do the things we want to do with this. Wow. Uh, all right. So we're going to break through, I think, this side here. And then here we have a small breakthrough. And here is another tiny breakthrough. And then there's that is danger, danger, and more danger. Hmm. We have much danger over here. Let's get this going like that. Okay. Now here... Oh, that was incorrectly done. Let's get these trees done. And then... Okay, there we are. Do we need to go all the way there? Probably not all the way. Maybe... Probably two, but maybe three. We'll just trim out these as well. Let's see if they can get through there. I'm not sure if they can, actually. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a bit... The way the trees kind of, like, overflow everything is a bit, like, interesting. It's hard to see the grid underneath. Okay. Alright, we're going. We're doing the things. Doing all the things. We need one more human to satisfy this, but soon we're going to have this raincoat factory done. I feel quite confident in this. All right, so limit on raincoats. Let's make 50 raincoats. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, because we might be able to make them into trade goods at the trade good thingamajingy. Now, I haven't uh, remembered all of the products that go into each one. But thank goodness we have the game to help us out with that. And it shows us what can be made into, like, packs of provisions, building materials, and crops. Obviously, it's not a crop. We can agree on that one. But it might be other things. So, okay, they didn't quite get in here, even though all the trees got deleted. So I guess, I guess we do tree at the edge there. Let's get that one off. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try one of those trees. All right. So this is storm. Okay, we don't want to do this right now. So I'll just let them cut nearby. And where is the other woodcutter's hut? It's up here. Oh, yes. I don't know how fast they're going to be able to... Oh, they can't cut that last layer anyway. Okay, did I get a bad mood debuff? Probably. Hooray! Yeah, there it is. Mm. Oh, wow. Stacks with hostility level. Rough. All right, that was not good. I didn't realize they would get in there like this. 
All right, they need six tools to get any of these things, which we don't have the tools, so we might as well not bother. So anyway, that was a bit rough on me, I think. Yes, game, it has been rough. Let me, let me go ahead and maybe just take down some of these trees. Make like a three wide area here. Let's see, Stonecutter's Camp has nothing to make. So we might, let's just fire the lizard and see if there are any other things. Let's see, clay, roots, and stone. So, so far, I don't think we actually have any of those other items. So let's leave it there. And, oh, actually, can they? Oh, no, they do. Somebody else takes the... Wait, maybe they don't take the stuff. Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, no. There it is. Um, let's see if the builders clear out the camp or if I need to put a uh, an employee there to make that happen. Okay, this is just fine. Lizard resolve is low. We are very sad about this. However, we do not care. No, we do care, mostly, sometimes. Okay, we should be able to win this before this gets opened. So otherwise life will be bad. Aha! Okay, we have lots of low resolve. Um, so let's go ahead and move the woodcutter camp Okay, so far nobody has taken this stuff out of here. Let's go woodcutter camp. Let's take you and move you here. So you can decide to go and do stuff there. Hooray. We can take the builder's path up this way as well. All right, and this has opened up to reveal a bird nest. And that's it. Now we'll take this woodcutter's camp here. Okay, gosh, we are just having all the things not happening right now. All right, we have 39 seconds until the next set of cards. I think we'll, we should wait for that. Uh, meanwhile, I would like to set up this farm uh, here. Let me see, we wanna put in, I guess we can put in an herb garden. That's just fine. We'll put it maybe that side because we do have other stuff going on over here. So far we haven't found any abandoned buildings yet. Let's go and get, um, yeah, I think we're good actually. And we'll put in the farm fields. That's a necessary item. And then we have, wait, did we get this? No, no, we built that, we built that. I was like, hey, did we get it for free? So far we haven't gotten any of the abandoned buildings areas, but then again, we haven't opened any of the scary lands either. So that uh, it might be in those areas that we need to think about that. Here we got some berry bushes and some broccoli. I really would like to, hmm, I'm kind of curious if we can get anything cool from any of these areas. We do have a fair amount of planks, so let's try something. Let's just completely do a horrible thing and try to open this place. Major threat. Okay, let's try to do this and see if our peaceful tranquility will end. All right, here goes, here goes. Here we go. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have left for this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.